the life cycle of animals look at the puppies and their mother in the picture do you see some similarities yes there are similarities between the puppies and their mother now take a look at this butterfly and the caterpillar that has come out of the egg do you see any similarities no there is no similarities between the butterfly and the caterpillar when a hen lays eggs chicks come out of those eggs but do kittens come out of eggs i know you all will be saying no now we will learn about the growth of animals a goat and its young one are not very different to look at same way there is not much difference between a kitten and a cat these babies grow in their mother's tummy and so these animals do not lay eggs but some animals like crows spiders lizards lay eggs ants butterflies fish frogs snakes are all animals that lay eggs but we do not see their eggs as they are very tiny so we do not come to know that these animals lay eggs but for sure we all know that a hen lays eggs now let us see the life cycle of a hen after laying eggs the hen sits on them to keep them warm as it is necessary for the chicks to grow inside the egg when its growth is complete the chick breaks the egg shell and comes out then the hen looks after its chicks till they grow a little bigger now we saw about the animals who have similarities between them and their young ones but as you saw a caterpillar and a butterfly are very different in some animals the young ones grow into adults that look very different from the young one now this change of form is called metamorphosis hope you children understood the term metamorphosis which in simple words mean transformation from one stage to another now we will learn metamorphosis in a butterfly we all love butterflies they are of various shapes and have beautiful colors they live among plants as butterflies grow they pass through four stages egg larva pupa and adult let us take the example of the plain tiger butterfly as it is a very common one to see how the growth of a butterfly takes place the female butterfly lays an egg on the milkweed leaf in 6 to 8 days the larva comes out of the egg this is called a caterpillar now the caterpillar is very hungry so it begins to eat the leaf on which it was sitting on it eats very fast and so its growth is also very fast in the first 2 3 days due to which it does not fit in its skin any more now under the old skin a new loose skin is formed on the growing caterpillar due to which 
it sheds its old skin this process means it molds in simple words mold means to shed old skin so that there is way for the new skin to grow now it again begins to eat the leaf and continues to grow rapidly it molds a second time in 2 to 3 days in this way it molds four times now the caterpillar remains in this stage for almost 10 to 12 days but before the last mold the caterpillar makes a button which is like a small white dot with silk thread on a leaf and it hangs itself from it this time when it molds it forms a pupa which is the next stage of its growth the pupa of a butterfly is also called as chrysalis for the next 11 to 12 days it remains inside the chrysalis and does not eat anything during this stage now inside the chrysalis there are certain important changes that take place in its body and the growth of the plain tiger butterfly is now completed and that is the last stage now the adult butterfly emerges from the chrysalis it now has four attractive wings and six long legs all the butterflies go through these stages of growth and that is how we see such wonderful butterflies i hope you all have understood about the life cycle of the butterfly or as we say metamorphosis